It's men in suits who start wars, men in suits who decide about politics and strategies, mainly men in suits. Provided those machines and the software to those people. I did. I did too. So you say, sure, I would never tell a secret. And you're 24 years old and out of engineering school, and then you're faced with selling ours to like 50 countries. And at the time, we had 50 covert operations going on, and they're all meant to destabilize countries to pump up some faction with a lot of weaponry who is favorable to U.S. business interests. And in a sense, I had an ethical crisis. That's calcium. Oh, little calcium deposits. Calcium is very light, so it floats on liquids. Since becoming a father, the stakes feel higher all the time. Our future generations are really in a pickle if we don't change the course of what we're doing. Wow, it feels great. I was researching for years, where can we find examples of sustainability of low footprint societies that are having small families? And from the data, I picked out this society in Kerala, India. Cuba and Slovenia. I was being paid to undermine places like Cuba and Kerala. And how ironic that they happen to be among the most sustainable societies on Earth. In Kerala, they overthrew an order which was unbelievably repressive. It was actually powered by people demanding for more equality, more rights, more access to health care and education. It's proven that in societies when there is more equality, they are more sustainable. Uno de las de los fuertes justamente la justicia social. Y dentro de la justicia social está ese cuidado del ambiente. Empower the women, then they are able to go and talk to the others and uh, change society as a whole. We see a wholesome life, we see really happy people living on a fraction of the footprint. We dream about not our nation, not our country, not our place, but dream of whole world. What I discovered on my journey is the most beautiful force in action. Empowered women acting with what they have power over to avert the greatest catastrophe our world has ever faced. If we want to short circuit the sixth extinction, we would have to leave about half the planet in a wild condition to reverse this time we're in. Humans can pull it off, but we have to get busy working. You're talking to a new woman here. Yeah.